Bye-bye, Namahage train. After the Namahage train, we are taking this one. And one more change of train. Aomori collection. Hello, young man. Are you so angry? Welcome to Aomori. Ja ja, at the station already we get to see a real nebuta gentleman lit up from inside this is the landmark this is the famous stuff of Aomori or better said the stuff that makes Aomori famous and since this is the last video about Aomori let's recap how we got there here is Tokyo from here we went to here to see the Namahage in Akita and from Akita, we arrived to Aomori. As you can see, it's at the end of the big island of Japan and under Hokkaido. So it's really cold in winter and a lot of snow. And so it becomes a winter snow paradise, Aomori. Here is the Aomori Bay Bridge. And then here is where the festival was held, where they did a tug of war in the snowstorm. And it was perfect to stay here, so central, really in front of the station. Here was the illumination that we observed at night and then all along this way here. The museum is right in front and this is a nice park full of snow now that we are going to visit before leaving Aomori for good. Everything about apples in Aomori city. The Tsugaru apple. Apples are the best seller in this area. Everything apple and these juices like one juice bottle for 25 US dollars. Everything is bloody expensive. <laughs> oh. Garlic is another specialty of Aomori. But I wonder, is this really local or is it made in China? You could never tell, of course. And this is the breakfast at Toyoko Inn. Actually, it's quite healthy. Maybe people don't understand, but these are mostly seaweeds, which are really good for your body. And then again, rice with seaweed and soup. You get me some soup and coffee. And it's served here at the lobby. This is Toyoko Inn, my hotel. And so from here, ja, ja we are just at the museum. And here the souvenir store is selling so many cool things, like even this. They are about $800 one, but super cool. And then all kind of t-shirts and foods. And we are back to the most amazing landmark of Aomori city and the Warase Museum. And look, it's sunny and it snows. And actually from here you could take a ferry to Hokkaido. Of course, Aomori is under Hokkaido, so it's supposed to be really cold in winter like this and snow, but I never had this image of it in my head because it is really famous for the Nebuta festival in August and it's really hot and such a happy happy dancing feel so I'm so surprised happily pleasantly surprised to have this winter wonderland paradise here in Aomori and wear my ski suit <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, literally deep, snow deep.